And you are going to need to mask up if you want to go, uh, want to be a cowboy this weekend or a cowgirl this weekend in Raleigh. <laughs> Cinch World's toughest rodeo is in town, and everyone over the age of two must wear masks to get in. CBS 17's Amy Cutler went to check it out and see how COVID has impacted the rodeo. For the world's toughest rodeo, PNC Arena has been transformed. There's no longer ice down here. There's lots of dirt. They've got pens. They've got animals. They're ready for a great show. As if riding two horses at once wasn't enough, then came the jump over the ring of fire. I grew up in a rodeo family. We had a rodeo from the time I was three on. I grew up on horses, carrying the American flag, barrel racing, and then I was also a gymnast. So inadvertently, my parents had created like this perfect storm for a trick rider. It's also in bullfighter Nick Coop's blood. I grew up around rodeo bulls. Uh, my grandpa had uh, bulls growing up. My main job is to keep the bull riders safe. So when they fall off, I go in and distract the bull, take them away from the rider so he can get away safe. These are two of the stars you can expect to see at Cinch World's Toughest Rodeo. Oh, smelling the camera. They travel the country, and this Saturday, they'll be in Raleigh. This year has taken on a whole new meaning because last year we didn't get to go. So I feel like this year, every rodeo, we treat it like it's the last. They'll be following the city's COVID rules, meaning masks will be required and social distancing is encouraged. They're hoping people will turn out. It's awesome. I love, uh, like, looking out, especially, you know, the kids are so engaged and they're, they're loving it. Our new friend is looking forward to it, too. He craves the attention. Uh, he is a big, annoying dog. If you come for the pre-show, you can meet the animals like Silver Dollar here up close and personal. You'll also get a chance to meet the cowboys and girls behind the show. It starts at 6 o'clock. Inside PNC Arena, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News. Very cool. Amy, thank you.